And we're back, and I guess that linger option on the main menu is load, which I should have assumed because there was no option that said load. So now we're down here. And I assume that there's rooms on the sides. Yes, okay. Just, just had to... Oh, there's someone in here. Hello. Thank you for finding my old niece. What a relief. That's all you gotta say? I can't... Oh, I, should, I probably have to talk to him again. Yeah, is there anything else I can talk about? What were you doing during the party? Where were you when you heard the shots? Well, for one thing, I drank. Boy, did I drink. So, in other words, nothing unusual. I did a lot of talking alongside my brother. Came down with a bit of a headache at around 8 p.m., though. After that, I came in here to rest for a while. I needed some time to myself, and I'd been planning to sleep on the couch here tonight. I was still here when the gunshots went off. <clears throat> Uncle's statement. Where's there anything off about Anna during the party? There was. She came to me late in the evening while I was resting here in this room. It was about 8.30, I think. She said she wanted to talk. I don't know what it was about, but she seemed rather upset and nervous almost, but I was too drunk to pay her any notice. I brushed her off. I wasn't there when she needed me. What would she have said, I wonder? Would she still be alive? And what was the other option? Motives. Can you think of anyone who might bear a grudge against that or the family? Unless my brother's business problems crept into the party, and no one comes to mind. And that's it. I don't know if I have anything I could show you. I'll come back for you later. Anything else in here? What about this old book? No. Alright, what is that green thing on the table? It looks like a mask? Ah. It's a mask. Could this be the one the victim's sister mentioned? It was hardly hidden. Was anyone ever in this room besides the uncle? Mask. Hey, you. Mask. You know anything about this? Oh, that's a strange thing. It's been sitting there on the table since I got here, but I have no idea how it ended up in this room. It was actually one of Anna's birthday gifts. Why would it? That looked creepy. Not... Yeah. Yeah, she had quite a few cheapskate friends. She was lucky her dad was so well off. He gave her much better gifts, but I guess it doesn't matter now. Can you prove that the mask had already been moved here by the time you came in? Uh, not really. Is there any reason I should have to? I see. Never mind. Yep, alright, let's see. Check the other rooms, I guess. Whoops. Thought I could go in front of the couch. A lot of spilled drinks, and no one's working to clean them up. I don't think that's evidence, so they should probably, you know, well, clean it up. The nice key, though, that shouldn't be a problem. Eh, where is it? Oh. Uh, this isn't funny. Was I pickpocketed? Did I drop it? Oh, this is a delightful surprise. Alright, you. Thank you for finding my remaining my remaining charge safe and sound. If there's any way I can help you, please let me know. Yeah, you can tell me some stuff. What were you during, doing during the party? Where were you when you heard the shots? Party started normally enough. I prepared dinner in the kitchen from between 9 and 5 p.m. The girls did help me with that. Afterwards, I served it and set up the, set up the cake and presents at about 6. I simply conversed with the rest of the guests once dinner and cake were over. I wasn't as responsible as I should have been. I drank. A lot, actually. Did a rather poor job of watching the girls, aside from escorting them to bed. I didn't see a lot of either of them after dinner. I was with their poor father and that schoolboy when I heard the gun. Oh, I wish I could begin the night again. I would never take my eyes off Anna. Is anything off about Anna? I never saw much of her. I'm afraid I failed in my responsibilities. of anyone who might bear a grudge. Nothing springs to mind. I mean, there's the shadier aspects of my master's company, but no one here is involved in that. Alright. There's anything left. Interesting. Okay. Odd that I can't show her anything. You gonna talk now? Thank you for finding my daughter. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I wish that Anna was safe and sound, uh, as safe and sound as her sister. You know, I don't actually recall hiring a detective. I'm so glad that you arrived. Eh, it wasn't you who hired, hired me? You don't know who called you? Um, that's right, I mean I couldn't recognize the voice from the phone, that's what I meant. Maybe it was the landlady. Landlady? The owner of this place? She's the only one who didn't know Anna, after all. It's, <clears throat> it's only reasonable to think that she was likely of the soundest mind. 
Who is this landy lady that you're speaking of? I've never spoken with any owner. I rented this place out by speaking with a man over the phone. What a mistake this whole thing turned out to be. Eh, hey, you don't? Never mind, it's nothing important. Huh. If you say so, you're a detective after all. I'm still counting on you. Please help my daughter find peace. Landlady's identity? Maybe I can bring that to you. You have anything to say? No? Alright. Hmm, wait, is there was there anything else I could ask you? Yes, there was. Can you tell me about the rest of the evening from the time you arrived here until the incident? What were you doing? We are at the mansion around four PM. There were many more guests earlier in the day. I spent the majority of the evening talking with them. We had dinner, cake, and presents roughly 6 p.m., if memory serves correctly. After that, it was right back to talking. We all drank a bit. Even after the majority of the guests left, I still relaxed in the main lounge. Our nanny and that wretched boy who hangs around my girl were there, too, when I heard the gun. I, I, I never actually saw either of my girls much during the party. I should have been more diligent. It was Anna's birthday, after all, and now, and now I won't see her again. Did you notice anything unusual in the way Anna behaved recently? How was she during the party? He just said that he didn't really see her during the party. Sir? There was something. I didn't pay much notice at the time. Oh, Lord, how I should have. Please, sir, tell me what it was. It was around 7 p.m., I believe. I was talking with the rest of the guests when Anna came up to me and asked if we could speak. Why didn't you mention this the first time like, we were talking about her? I don't know what it was about, but I was engrossed in conversation. I can't imagine what could have been more important to my Anna now. And told her to run along. What could she have wanted to tell me? I'm so sorry, Anna. Hmm. Is there anyone who might have wanted to hurt your daughter or your family? Well, my company, it's, um, well, let's just say there are certain people who aren't particularly pleased with me right now, but certainly no one here. And those of us who are left are the only ones who were present during the incident, as far as I know. She was close to both my brother and her nanny. They wouldn't want to hurt her. The only one I'm not particularly fond of is my older daughter's boyfriend. But I never saw him as someone capable of hurting my girls, not like this. A bit seedy, perhaps, but not a murderer, I'm a little less. Can I show you anything? I can. Can I show you that mask? Hmm. Alright, well, what about the testimonies? Or statements? Really? Okay, and the uncles? No. Hmm. Alright, well, let's head into the other rooms if I can. Nope, not that one. What was the other one? If not, I don't really know what to do. Oh, okay. Oh, it's you two. And I still can't believe it. Is that all you gotta say? What is it? I've already shared everything I saw. You've already told me about the incident, it's true. But where were you. Nah, but wh what were you doing the rest of the evening? Oh, well, I was with my boyfriend, of course. So I went to bed at 9 p.m., just like Daddy always insists. Naturally, that was before getting up to use the restroom and being attacked. Alright. Did you see your sister much during the party? Anything seem off with her? I didn't actually see her much before bed, I'm afraid. I was busy, busy with my own things, had I known that this would be my last night with her. I thought you cooked with her. Didn't the nanny say that? What is that? I've already shared everything. Oh, that's just part of that. Okay. What is... Is there anyone who might have wanted to hurt your sister or your family? No, not as far as I know, at least. What is it? Um, I, I almost said that again. Can I show you... I don't know what I'd show you. What about the mask? Huh. That's... That's definitely the mask of the shooter wore. Wretched thing, where did you find it? It was in the living area. Uh, I see. That's all you gotta say about it. Interesting. What else could I show you? I don't know if any of these are ever going to come into play anymore. Do I still have that gun? I do. No. Extra bullet. I haven't used that for anything. I, I assume I'm going to have to, you know, shoot someone at some point. No. And let's use the, check the uncles. No. Wait, I, I want to look at that bed one. Unana, yes, okay, good. You and I slept in the first bedroom upstairs, correct? I noticed that the beds were still made, even though you got up to use the bathroom. Is there any particular reason? 
Oh, is that odd? We're simply very tidy. Why, making the bed every time we get up is practically an instinct for the both of us. Hmm. What is it? Yeah, that... Hmm. That doesn't seem... Hmm. Thank you for finding my girlfriend. Can the two of us leave now? Nope. Not yet. Please stay here until I've sorted everything through. So you still suspect me, huh? Fine. Can you tell me where you've been this evening? Or where were you in there at the gun? I've been with my girl all evening, honestly. Well, until she went to bed at 9 p.m. anyway. I was just hanging out in the main lobby when I heard her father and nanny were there. I never spent much time with the spoiled brat, alright? She wasn't the sibling I'm in just then. Ugh. How the hell would I know? I barely knew the kid. How about your girlfriend? No, nothing on this level. This whole thing is insane. Right, anything I can... I don't know what I'd show him. Um... Ugh, I don't like this guy. What else is there I could say? Nope, I don't... I don't really... can't really think of anything that I'd show him. Hmm. Is there anything in here that I can look at? Not that I can really see. Nope, nope. Nope, just gotta make sure I look at most things. Alright, I don't see anything. What else could I do, though? Can I talk to you about anything yet? Hmm. Odd. Maybe I... Could I go f try and find the key? I don't, I don't think I'd be able to find it if I... I think I'm done with the top floor. Since, like, everyone's down here now, so the top floor is probably... You know, just not needed anymore. Alright. Let's look around. Hmm. Well, I guess I gotta find what to do then. Alright, I think this gives me something. He spent the party with your girlfriend, the victim's older sister, correct? Even before bed, her father says he never saw her much, but he mentions you. Was she really with you? What were you both up to? Of course she was with me. We we just we just aren't fond of crowds, understand? Hmm. Interesting. It didn't, I thought it was going to give me something else for that. Well, guess back to surging. No, I, I didn't. I didn't remember that she was out here. Can I ask? Wait, what? Okay. All right, yeah, let's look. Let's talk about these. Unless it gives me the same. I don't actually think I've asked her anything before. Who were you during the party? I'm simply the owner. I had no part in the party. I wasn't inv invited to. I had no part in the party, and I wasn't invited to. That doesn't look like a right, a properly structured sentence. I simply passed time in front of, in the front courtyard outside. It was a lovely summer, summer evening. I only came inside when I heard the gunshots and the resulting commotion. Uh, I should probably ask her the rest of the things first. Is there anything off about Anna? I was neither part of the party, nor of the family, dear. How would I know? Good point. Anyone may a grudge. I have no knowledge of the family or the victim. Well, what about you? If you're asking whether I have a motive, I don't believe I do. What would I have to gain from murdering my customer's daughter? Hmm. Ghosts. I heard this ghost, th this ghost, this house supposedly haunted by a jealous woman seeking out children. Since you're the owner, you must know more about it, right? Oh, chasing ghosts now, are you? I'm sure there must be more solid leads you could be focusing your time on. Are you the ghost? Nonetheless, I suppose it couldn't hurt. Several guests have claimed to have seen women walk in the halls at night. But the one most talked about is the one you mentioned. And it was M Miss Marjorie, a single mother who hung herself after her only child died of illness. People like to make things frightening. It's human nature, but I wouldn't worry about it if I were you. If there are ghosts here, they're harmless. Mm -hmm. Are they now? Are they now? Are you harmless? Um. I talked to the victim's father. He said he doesn't remember speaking with or seeing you. He rented this place from a man over the phone. I see. That's not terribly surprising. My presence isn't particularly noticeable, and I've been mistaken for a man once or twice before over the phone. Hmm. Voice sounds plenty feminine to me. Hmm. What else could I ask you? Nope. Let me see. 
No, alright, well, I guess I'll go look around some more. A cutscene? I think. I've collected quite a bit of info now, and I doubt that I'm going to be able to get much more from anyone here. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's time I try and cut suspects to listen half. With everything I've learned so far, three stand out as the most suspicious. Three most suspicious people are owed. Oh, oh dear. I have to do this? Um. The sister. Choose proof? Hmm. Oh, this is gonna. I'm gonna mess this up bad. No, I don't think this relates to her. Review. Can I go back again? No, I cannot. Review clues. Uh, what was her statement? Yeah, I, I just go. I just feel the sister. Sister statement. Doesn't relate to her. What do you mean that doesn't relate to her? Isn't that, th isn't that her statement? Ah, uh, what was it about her that was suspicious? I can't go back, can I? I cannot go back. Interesting. So I have to choose something now that I selected that. Maybe it's okay. It's different than I thought. I thought I would choose something at random. Like no matter what I chose, I would just be used. Thankfully, it's making me choose the right thing. That's right. That's not all. There was something else, alright? Alright, so it was her scrape. What? The beds? You, you don't think that... You don't think that relates to her? Really? I thought the beds was the most suspicious... The most suspicious thing that's there. Interesting. I don't think it'll be the drag marks, no. Okay. She said the three people who seem the most suspicious. It doesn't... Huh. Who else? Who else is it? It's mostly the sister. The nanny, kinda? That's right. His sister. One thing that's certain is that she was at the scene of the crime. If she's telling the truth, then she's innocent, but if she isn't... The remaining two most suspicious people are... Mmm... Kinda the nanny? Hmm. I'm gonna mess this up. I know it. Oh, I, I, did, I wasn't even reading these. Well, I read the first and I just didn't read it out loud. For one thing, both the victim's father and the schoolboy mentioned seeing her when the gunshots went off. Their stories match up. There are many two oh, okay, so... Okay, so it's automatic, pretty much. This is He's not gonna be him. Yeah. Handgun was used, but anyone could have grabbed it out of his briefcase, and nothing else points to him hurting his girls. For one thing, both the nanny and his daughter's boyfriend mentioned seeing him when the gunshots went off. His stories match up. All right, I'll call. What was it about him? That was it is him. The mask. Where's that? Really, really. Oh well. No, you don't think that relates to him. I thought he said something about either... Yes, okay. That's right, and that's not all. There was something else. What was it about him that was suspicious? Was it the handgun? No. Okay, I thought... Ooh, I don't really remember. Oh, that was just a statement. That's right, and that's not all. There was something else. Oh, there's something else, too. Hmm, interesting. I should probably look at these. No, I don't want to look at that. What was his statement? I, I remember it mostly. Yeah, okay. Alright, and just, uh, I'm not 100% sure how that, you know, gives something suspicious. What else was there? Oh. 
Oh, I was so sure. I was so sure I found it. So glad they don't give you the option to mess up, because I know I would have. No. Well, I didn't mean to choose that, but whatever. Sister Scream, Bloody Glove Prince. Nope. Hmm. What were the victims? Uh, this didn't really have anything to do with them. Okay. What? Whoops. What else even mentioned him that was in here? I don't think there was really anything else. It, I thought it was gonna. I thought the mask was gonna involve it, but it didn't. Clues. Yeah, the mask is just found where the uncle had been sitting. Yeah, you see. That seems pretty suspicious to me. Maybe if I choose it now, after I chose that last one. That's right. Oh, okay. I, okay. Okay. So it was the mask. I knew it. That's right. Yes, the uncle. Not only were his boots used during the crime, the mask the killer was supposedly wearing was also found in the room where he rested. Perhaps even more notably, he was alone when the gunshots went off. No one else mentioned seeing him. He has no solid alibi. The final suspicious person is the friend. No, I don't believe it's him. Aside from his snippy attitude, there's nothing that pins him to the crime. I think both the victim's father and the nanny mentioned seeing him when the gunshots went off their stories match up. So the landlady. Yeah, it was the landlady. Hmm. Nope, the ghost stories. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Again. Okay, let's just go to her statement? Or maybe the father's statement? No, interesting. I actually thought it would be the father's statement. Oh, but her statement. That's right, and that's not all. There's something else. Landlady's identity? That's right. Alright. Yes, Landlady. No evidence connects her to the crime, but the fact that the others never seem to notice her presence is odd enough. She has ample opportunity and has no solid alibi. Alright, I've narrowed it down to the uncle, the sister, or the landlady. There's one thing I'm lacking in all three of their cases. A motive. Let's see what I can do about that. But I'm not quite sure where else to look. A <sighs> shame that I lost the master key. Did you find the key for me? You again. Don't look so dismayed. I'm here to help, you know. I noticed that the doors to the kitchen and dining room were locked, so I did a bit of digging and happened to find this. Mess area key. It's not the master key, but it should help you get inside those two rooms, since they're still locked. I'm taking the liberty of assuming that you lost the ladder. How did you know they were locked, if you were out there in the main room? What's with you, anyway? Whatever do you mean, dear? Don't play dumb, you're constantly butting into my business, yet no one else has made mention of you. Why then, perhaps I'm the mansion's ghost, exactly. That was a joke, dear. I'm sure it is. Please make haste with the rest of your investigation, alright? Hmm. After all, the sun is about to come up. Uh. Okay. At least I got the key to work with now. Let's wrap this up. Thank God it didn't give me the option to mess that up. Oh, her sprite changed. She looked happy just a moment ago, well, like, beforehand. Right, let's head in here, then. I'm not sure what would be in here. What a mess. Hmm, okay, so can I look at this letter? And what's this card doing all by itself here? It's open. Should I take a peek? Let's have a look. Dear Stan, I'll leave or I'll get rid of you myself. I'm not afraid to make this birthday your last. This is a threat. This murder was clearly premeditated. But why would someone threaten a little girl? Hmm. Skull is messy over a road and must have been trying to hide their handwriting. Threatening car. That's pretty clever, actually. What is that thing? Seems the victim had no shortage of presents. Though they won't do her much good now, they'll all go to waste. She was clearly left. Anything down here? Doesn't look like there's anything down there. There's another framed picture of an apple. Hmm, is there anything else in here that I can think of? I assume one of the... Yeah, that thing looks weird. Seems the victim had no shortage of presents. Oh, okay, it's just the presents again. All right. are, are any of these presents going to be suspicious? Nope, doesn't look like it. I can't even look at this one. Alright, well, I got something from... I got that letter from in here, but that, that's enough for right now. Let's go... Let's go check this room, then I'll bring the letter to the father and see if he knows anything about it. Nothing there. Let's check the 
main kitchen area. Nothing. Alright, I thought that was gonna be something over there. Microwave. No. Oh, wait, what's this scroll here? And what's this document here? It doesn't look like it belongs in the kitchen. Wait, this it looks like an inheritance deed of some sort. There's a logo for a bank embedded on the bottom. I'm not one for legal speak, so I'm not quite sure what it says. I think I should make it my business to find out. I smell a motive. Inheritance deed. Mmm, I like this music. Inheritance deed. Alrighty, let's, let's... Let's save, actually. Let's save, and then let's bring these things to the father and see if he knows anything about them. I think I'll actually talk about the, uh... Inheritance deed first. That's... Where did you find this? Found it lying on a table on the kitchen. Lying in a table on the kitchen. That's... I think those should be reversed, the in and on. It's kind of inheritance deed. It's, a, it's some kind of inheritance deed, correct? That's right, I was discussing it with our nanny earlier. I must have simply left it there. How foolish. What does it say? Eh, why do you need to know? It's possible that it could be related to the case. I have to look at this situation from every angle. It details what I would like done with regards to my bank should I pass away. My brother and our nanny get small shares, but it was actually Anna who was to take over the company. Now I don't know what I'll do. Her sister isn't cut out for it. Not cut out for it? That's right. They were never great to begin with, and after the passing of her dear mother, my oldest daughter's grades slipped dangerously low and haven't recovered, unlike my bride Anna's. Due to her age, it was originally going to be going to my older daughter, of course, but she'll never be the leader that Anna could have been. I just recently had the bill revised, and I plan to tell Anna tonight, on her birthday, but I never got the chance. I don't know what I'll do now. I see. Inheritance detail. What about this letter? Where'd it, where'd it go? What's up here? Odd? I thought... I was sure he was going to say something about that. I think I know who the killer is. I need somewhere required to think this through. Oh, that was that was fast. There can be no mistake. The answer is obvious. The person who killed Anna is the sister. It was her. Ah. Oh, did I startle you, detective? I'm quite sorry. All I wanted was a glass of water for my dry throat. Did she? Did she hear me talking to myself? Come on, it's written across that disgusted look on your face. If you have something to say, then say it. Y you. You killed her. You killed your own sister. Did I now? That's a heavy accusation, and I don't believe you can back it up. I can prove it just fine. Well, that is a very, very drastic music change. Go ahead and try. There's nothing there to prove. I love my sister, you know? can't imagine what I'll ever do without my beloved little sis. You know, really. Because I happen to have evidence that suggests your relationship may not have been so rosy after all. Start smelling the evidence that proves that the sisters were at odds. Where is it? I lost it. Hold on. Where'd it go? Where did where'd the deed go? Where did the statement go? There it is. Oh, oh. In, okay, let's look, look, look. I'm heading down right here, but it doesn't go down. What? I don't follow you at all. That's not what I meant. What, what the heck do you mean that's not what you meant? That seemed pretty, pretty big. What else is there? I thought that... No, I did not... When you hit back, it, like, selects the thing that you're targeting. Let's review the clues. Mm, this music, though. God, this music is kick-ass. I'm really bad at these kinds of games, if you couldn't tell. Probably because it's been two days since the last time I played, so I can't remember some of the stuff that was in part one. The mask? Let's... No, no, that, that wouldn't make sense. Something that proves the sisters were at odds. I was so sure that it was going to be that deed. It just seemed like it.
Hmm. Interesting, I can't really see anything that would work. I guess I'll just have to try random things. Ah, the beds. You claim that you went to bed together at nine, just as you were supposed to, but the beds were made when I checked them. They look completely undisturbed. Children don't truly make their beds every time they get up to use the bathroom, do they? I have a feeling the beds were never used. This doesn't seem like they were at odds with each other. It made it, the thing asked me to like find something that made it seem at odds. This this doesn't do that. That, that like that that's why I was kind of confused. Otherwise, I would have went for this probably first thing. Well, after the deed, of course. I believe you were fighting. She was probably afraid of you. Oh, I. Okay. I uh, yeah, never mind what I just said. Is that all? What makes you think we were fighting? We could have been having a late night slumber party for all you know. The conclusion that you were fighting stemmed from everything else. There are the pieces of the puzzle that point to a troubled relationship. Start small. Start small, let's go straight to the deed. Oh. Ah, the card. I found this mix in with Anna's birthday gift. Someone threatened her, I believe it was you. Belief is not proof, detective. Nothing points to me as the writer. Hold on for a moment and you'll see where I'm going with this. Anna was terrified of you. In fact, I believe that she moved against you first. This is preposterous. Anna would never do anything to me and I'd never do anything to her. That beds mean nothing and a note could have been written by anyone. None of this points to me as the culprit. I'm getting to it. We should move on to what happened next. I believe these pieces of evidence tell that tale for us. I need proof of what happened during the incident that criminates the sister. Darn. Oh, it was the scrape. I, I didn't have to stop recording because it's the second thing I chose. You had a fresh unbandaged gash across your cheek when I found you in the bathroom. That's no simple scrape, it's a bullet graze. That's... What are you talking about? There were only three shots fired total, and it took all of them. How incompetent do you think I am? Anna was the one to take the gun from your father's bag, wasn't she? Not you. She was scared after seeing the card. She wanted to talk to her father and uncle about it, but they brushed her off. She knew that she had to protect herself. Mm -hmm. She fired that bullet at you in self-defense before you took the weapon from her. Got a hold of the weapon somehow. You must have hit her, hit her, kicked her, but you weren't a great gunman either. You shot her twice before managing to take her down with a third. You even had to stand at close range to hit her head. But you managed it. You even planned ahead after you saw your sister take the gun. You took gloves from the kitchen and slipped your own sh shoes into your, your own slipped your own shoes into your uncle's boots. That what? Okay. You dragged your own sister's body to the closet. You likely cleaned yourself up in the bathroom. I doubt he knew what you were doing. But you even went so far as to have your boyfriend cover for you while you prepared. You didn't want to get caught. But that wasn't all in your original plan, was it? You had a few telling issues. This is a long video. There's something strange about the crime scene that could in indict a child killer like her. Hmm? I don't know why I chose that one. There's something odd, almost awkward about the crime scene. There are a couple of bloody girl glove prints left on multiple windows upstairs. Was the killer going to throw the body and the rest of the evidence into a yard below? I think so. They clearly tried awfully hard to get those windows open after all. Now those windows are tough, but the rooms were rusted shut and I believe most adults could still get them open if they tried, but a 14 year old girl? Perhaps not. You were forced to hide the gloves and boots under the bed, but the body wouldn't fit, so the storage closet it was. Mental blood also suggests that it was dragged slowly by someone weak. You no longer had time to escape. You had to hide in the bed. You had a bit of a hard time with the whole thing, didn't you? What about the mask? Don't forget about the mask. Killer was wearing it, but it wasn't found anywhere near the crime scene or me. <laughs> What's so funny? The mask is being carried by you. What the heck? It was never truly found. It was never worn by the killer. Don't forget it was you who told me. But yeah, I was just thinking that. <laughs> All I have, to, all I have, is your word for it. And since you're the killer, and make no, then make no mistake, you are. It was clearly never used. Uh, you knew that you got this music is so good. You knew that your uncle was planning to sleep in the living area. He took the mask from Anna's gifts and planted it there beforehand for a bit of insurance, if need be. Hmm? Tell me then, Miss Detective, what would my motive be? Even if we weren't joined at the hip, Anna was still my sister, and that's just it. She looks nervous, I bet she's praying that I haven't found it. It's the final nail in the coffin, the motive. The thing I was going for first... 
I found this on the kitchen table. Your father was going to announce it tonight, but you happened upon it and read it first, didn't you? It says you're no longer your father's heir. Heir. That looks like here, not heir. Isn't it supposed to be H E I R? You were already jealous of your sister, weren't you? When you saw this, you snapped. You planned and executed the murder, and just as suddenly as the music started, it stops. You murdered Annabelle, your little sister. Hey, you weren't supposed to find that, you know? I locked the doors as soon as I got out of the bathroom. It was easier than hiding it, but I guess it wasn't enough. She has the master key in her hand. She must have pickpocketed me in the bathroom. And I deserved it. She killed her mother. She ran out into the road. She would have been she would have been the one hit, but our mother pushed her out of the way instead. She killed her. She killed the mother who loved me and left me with a father who doesn't. That's not true. Your father was worried sick. He loves you very much. He'll be de devastated. And in comparison to Anna, he doesn't. I was always the afterthought. I always thought it always it was always my dear, darling, bright, beautiful, lovely, intelligent, sweet, perfect little Anna. Well, no more. His perfect little Anna is dead. Tip of that key suddenly looks rather sharp. You were wrong about one thing, though. I hit Anna, but I did love her, too. When I wrote that card, I wanted her to run away. I didn't intend to kill her. But when I saw how she was afraid of me, when I saw her grab that gun and huddle in the corner of the bedroom, something came over me. I thought I may as well prove her right. Oh. The key, she stabbed me. But it doesn't hurt. Uh, did Seiko's cell phone block the blow? There was no blood. The gas, the gas is already healed. What witchery is this? What, what happened? It doesn't hurt at all. Ah, oh, Seiko's cell phone. Ghost, ghost is sure there's a ghost. Ghost. No way. It can't be. You're... Uh, Anna? Anna. Girls was, hey, Mama, look, there's our bus. We're on the wrong side of the street. Anna, stop, come back. That's the middle of the highway. But we'll miss it. I don't want... Anna. Mama. Mama. It's a dead end. Eh. Please, please don't. Sleep well, sis. That's right, of course. I'm Anna. Ah, oh, alright, well that's... Alright. I was murdered ten years ago. How did I get back here? Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. So I don't know what came over me. I can hardly believe it myself. I, I, I screamed and I pulled the trigger. I cried in the bathroom even though I tried not to. It wasn't like I wanted to be found right then. I'm sorry. Please don't kill me. You aren't gonna make our father lose both of us, are you? What should I do with that? I still can't believe. I'm sorry, sir. No, now perhaps my living daughter can get the help she needs, and now perhaps my Anna can be at peace. For that, I thank you. It's a shame the police had to get involved, but I suppose there's no other way. She'll be in jail for a long, long time. But she's she's 14, isn't she? Would, would you go to jail if you're 14? Where does this take place? I forget. I just can't fathom how my girl could do this. How could a child of mine... Just make sure she knows you love her, too. But after what she did to Anna, I'm sure that Anna forgives her. And I'm sure that she wants both of you to be happy. Get help for her sister and keep on cherishing each day. Work on bring the family closer together. That's how she would want to be honored. Live for her, too. You're right. You're right. That's exactly what she'd say. Thank you for everything. We are wise beyond your years. It's nothing. It's just... I know what it's like to lose someone. I'm sorry. Please be happy, too, all right? I will. Why well, ought to be going? Everyone else is already waiting outside. You know, if Anna had gotten to grow up, I think... I like to think that she would have become someone like you. Thank you, and goodbye. Goodbye, Dad. Marjorie. So you remember me again, I'm glad. Of course I do, I'm not sure how I ever forgot. You're like my mother, after all. 
Marjorie, what's going on? This all happened ten years ago. My sister was never caught. Why are we here? Spirits aren't bound by time. Without flesh to bind us, we're free, we're free to walk through the years as the living are through the physical realm. But didn't make up for the agony of remaining trapped. The for the agony of remaining trapped in this gloomy old house. Of of remain the agony of remaining what? Of remaining child. Okay, whatever. Place where we can only walk at night. A prison. For me, it was the regret of my lost daughter that kept me trapped here. For you, it was the way your sister simply walked away. For your twentieth birthday, I thought we should do something rather special. I took you back ten years to the day you became trapped here with me. Your memories got a bit messed up during the journey, but it couldn't be helped. I thought it was necessary. If you hadn't solved the crime on your own, it wouldn't have held the same meaning. Time isn't static. You've changed the past. You've uncovered the truth behind your own murder and decided what to do with that truth. Did I do the right thing? That's something you have to answer yourself. But I'm so very proud of you. Spirits don't have to age. You could have remained the little girl you died as, but you blossomed into a beautiful young woman under my care. I raised you. I feel like I'm finally at peace, too. Ah, where are you going? We can finally leave the house. We can move on. Can't you feel it, too? Come with me, dear. I want you to meet my daughter, and I'm sure your mother is waiting for you, too. I would say that you kept her waiting long enough, but with what you've changed now, I suppose you haven't kept her long at all. Follow me. And happy birthday, dear. I, I kind of want to go and get the ending where we don't turn her in. Given the circumstances, I suppose this is the best gift I could have hoped for. Mother, I'm coming. Alright, tears and nightfall. Good job. Well done. So yeah, I think I'm going to go back and get the ending where you don't turn her. What happens if you choose, like, uncle or... I wonder what would happen. Like, I knew right from the very beginning that as soon as we found the sister that it was her. She was just very suspicious. So yeah, I'm going to go back and get it. This is already a 42 minute long video. And it's going to be even longer now that I'm going to go back and get it. Oh, when did I save? Oh, poop. I'm going to have to go, like, look at stuff again. Alright, well, let's go back and do that, do that then. Alright, well, I'm actually going to see what happens if we choose... I don't think that's right. I just think this... Oh, well, it, it doesn't let you fail. I thought there would be, like, a bunch of endings, and there would be, like, a different reason, like, a different ending for each character. That's kind of disappointing. What about the landlady? No, oh, alright, so... Yeah, this is there. Okay, well, let's get to the part where we choose the other. Alright, let's see what this one is. Don't turn her in. Sorry, sir, I've investigated it from every angle I could, but I don't believe the culprit is anywhere here. I did see who I thought was the landowner, after all. Perhaps the culprit managed to sneak in and out of the mansion. Alright, I understand. I didn't want to get the police involved, but this was no other option. I will find the monster who did this, mark my words. Just don't let it haunt you too much, Hannah wouldn't want that. I know, I know, but I won't let this go. I won't stop searching until I get them, until I get to drag them down to hell myself. But be happy too, all right, all of you. That's the best way to honor her. Remember how she lived, not how she died, Anna. You worked hard, you did everything you could, and most importantly, my living daughter is safe. You made sure that she was brought back to me. For that, I thank you. Sir? Everyone else is already outside, I should go. You know, found I had gotten to grow up, yep. Don't you make me sorry. If you ever hurt anyone else, if you ever hurt anyone else, I'll haunt you until the day you die. Don't let the family fall into despair. Work to bring everyone together. Help make Dad and everyone else happy. If you do that, if you do that, I'll forgive you. Suicide. Go. I don't want to see you anymore. I'm sorry. Goodbye, Dad. And now this part. Is there gonna? Uh, th this is probably gonna be a little bit different. Marjorie, so you remember me again? <laughs> Tennis. 
that's that. You just said the truth. Did I do the right thing? That's something you have to answer yourself. Hmm. But I'm so very proud of you, Spirits. I don't have to age. Alright, so it's more or less the exact same thing. Yeah, so it's like the Mass Effect 3 endings are more or less exactly the same. Very disappointing that there's not any other endings. So yeah, pretty much the same thing. Mass Effect 3. But yeah, this was a, this was a pretty fun game. I'm absolutely terrible at these kinds of games, though. I, I cut out quite a bit of my, you know, just randomly giving things to people in the hopes I'd get an answer, because, like, I, I, th I think I left enough of that in the videos. You, would you want to see more of that? No. Music by Jewelby.com, Aaron Crow, and DJ, DJ Mudkiff. I want to know where to find that one song that was used during the confrontation. That was, that was awesome. Alrighty, well then. Well, that's it. Not sure what I'm going to play next? Thank you for watching, and goodbye.